it would be disingenuous of me to not bring up the name Kyrie Irving. Um, <laughs> and I'm just, I, I, I'm going to choose my words very carefully here. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I don't want to get canceled. Uh, um, that's a cancellation happening every day um, to the best of us. Got to watch it. Yeah. So here's what I'll say. Um, I think, I think mental health is a, a very real, very serious issue. Um, I've, I've been in therapy at some point in my life. Um, if, if I had more time, I'd probably still be in it. I think it's very important. I think mental health days are important. Yep. Um, and I say that as uh, a person who has just about every privilege under the sun, because I am a white man. Um, I'm not a black man. Um, I don't care how much money he has. You can't put a price on what it is to exist in that skin in this country right now. Yep. So I want to get all of that out there at first. And then I, if I'm being honest, I'm looking at the situation. I'd be like, but God damn it. You know, life is hard and yep. it's hard for everybody. I'm, I'm sitting here right now. My daughter's on her iPad in the other room. I'm hoping she doesn't come in here and like interrupt this podcast. <laughs> my wife is about to walk in from a, a ultrasound that I couldn't go on, uh, go to that appointment with her because we're in the middle of COVID and I'm teaching virtual classes. And, um, you know, I'm, it, it's like I could go on and on as could you, as could every yeah. person listening to this podcast, okay? I just wonder if I had to cover the team, the Nets, how I would feel about this and if I would be able to put, like, how, how I would deal with my own personal feelings about shit. Man, I wish I could wish I could take a few days off and just kind of be like, yeah. you know, you know, honey, um, I just need some space right now. I'm going to go, you know, I need a couple days in Cancun. I can't do that. You can't do that. Most people can't do it. Kyrie Irving has done that. Do you, as a person who has to cover this team, has that been tough for you to grapple with or like, where are you at? I'm a unique, I don't want to say unique, but I do think maybe compared to like, so I'll put it this way. I'll, last week, I don't know how many people that are listening know about this. I was pretty active in the protests uh, this summer. Like that was something I was passionate about. Well, we've about. talked about this. Yeah, we've yeah. talked about it quite a bit. And I don't want to get too much into, well, I mean, I don't, actually don't really mind delving into specifics. Last week was really, it was you a triggering get into whatever thing you want. for me. Yeah, you know, no. like, I, I mean, and like, look, like my job is to come here, talk about, you know, how if teams are over switching and all this stuff. They played, <laughs> I think it was Wednesday and Thursday. I yeah. was glazed over. I, 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 I was like I, sitting there watching these games. I was like, this is so meaningless. Like, I don't, it's, this is one of these weird weeks where I love this. Like, it, it's not like me, you know, I, and I think that's where I can kind of agree a little bit with Kyrie. It's like, I love basketball. It's never an issue with that. But there are weeks where it's like, man, we're really watching, a, you know, whatever, 10 guys on 20 guys combined shoot a spherical object in a hoop. And that's what we're doing. And I think last as, week as, was as the American experiment collapses onto itself. Continue, exactly. And, and it just, it was like, it was, <clears throat> it was tough. Like personally, like watching everything that happened and how it, I mean, look, we had an insurrection with very little pushback, very little pushback. Yeah. And I think when you, especially for me, and I'm sure other people feel this way. I know Kyrie was uh, very active in this. I know Karis Levert was many other players in the league. They, you know, they go through protests. You hear about Sterling Brown, you know, somebody who yeah. is quite literally physically abused by police. Um, they go through all this. They see all these things over summer. There's, you know, <laughs> tanks rolled out. Uh, there's, you know, unmarked vans taking people in. I think just that compared with what happened last week and just how grossly unprepared we were for something that was realistically an attack on our nation's capital. I yeah. get if that was triggering. So I get it. And I think everybody reacts to that at different speeds. I, I think me personally, it really, I didn't feel like completely normal until yesterday, which was Sunday. Um, so I think, you know, for everybody, they're going to react differently. I just, at, for me, I'm just kind of worried if he's doing okay. Like, what is this trigger? What is this, uh, you know, if that's something he's passionate about. So I, I get it from the side of like, you know, especially if you're looking at this being like, okay, well, you know, he's missing work. He's, he's missing, he's paid to do this job. I get that. I totally do. Um, but I think when it becomes an issue of, look, I mean, Kevin Durant said our prayers are with him. Like it's little things like that. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a step back. And, and I think that yeah. that is something where we need to evaluate. So my opinion right now is I actually don't have an opinion until he speaks personally. 
You know what? That's the responsible uh, thing. And um, I think more people, including myself, should should err on that side. It's tricky, I just, though. I can't blame you because, I mean, it like, honestly, I'm just being how honest. much is going on? I, I'm no, having no. a because di- look, we don't we don't need to, we could do a whole podcast about the things that are going on in the country. <laughs> We're not going to do that because that's not why yeah. people tune in. And I respect that. But um, <laughs> I think there are I guess my only thing that I wanted to say is I know, especially in this city, which has a mentality of like, which is not necessarily a healthy Push mentality, it. It, but it, but that is not a healthy thing to have that no. New York mentality. Like the world could be burning down around me. I'm going to trudge on. That's a New York mentality, not a healthy one, but it is the mentality of this city. And you want to, you know, talk about Brooklyn and like the ethos of what it really means to be part of Brooklyn. Like to me, when I think of Brooklyn, I, that's what I think of. It's like, doesn't sure. matter what's standing in my, you know, so I just wonder, again, that's why I asked how you're dealing with. It. I wonder how some of the fans are, are what their opinions are of it. Um, and I just know from the last thing I'll say on this, if this was a Knicks player doing this, I would feel so conflicted because I look, as everybody who listens to this podcast knows, I look for every excuse to be on the side of the Knicks player. I will, yeah, I will me too. uncover every rock, right? So I don't know. I just, I felt like I it needed, I wanted to address it before we got to anything else. So we've addressed it. Um, yeah, and I think yeah. No. Being, yeah, of course. I mean, the thing, like, I get it from both sides. I think, and I'm also with you on that. I get it from his side. I get it from people that are upset that are, you know, sitting here much like everybody else, kind of watching everything and still forced to go to work and all this. So I, I get it. It's, it's just a tricky situation. I don't know if there's anybody right. And, uh, you know, just kind of waiting to hear from him. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll and I'll be curious um, what he says um, when he gets back, whenever whenever that is. 